Right, this is the setup so far. A few custom features. First, to fit the massive heat bed, I've made an aluminium plate drilled holes to reduce the inertia. I'm not sure if it would have affected it or not, but it hasn't affected the strength. Had to space it out a little to get it to fit. So it didn't hit the sides and to fit the heat plate as well. Now this is pretty much the uh, finished product. I haven't quite finished with it yet. I just have to do some neatening up like uh, all the electronics are just sort of sitting there and wires running everywhere. But um, yeah, this is just a standard semi CNC. Um, at the moment it's printing the bottom layer so it's running a little slower. It helps it to stick a lot better. A um, few improvements that I've made is uh, I've made the aluminium base plate and then I coated that in aluminium foil just to try and stop some of the heat transfer. It's held on with the yellow captain tape you see there. And then I have a heated print bed with some toughened glass on top of it held on with the bulldog clips. Now on top of that glass I've got captain tape and with, with, between the heated print bed and the captain tape it's probably stopped about 95% of my warping problems. I haven't had a single piece warp on me yet. I would imagine though if I printed one the size of the board it may but it's worked absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah and to fit that board though it's a lot wider than the standard supplied tray by CME CNC. I've uh, made these brackets here. It's just made out of simple RHS and it's just on the top as well. It's just sort of expanded the machine a bit without having to replace all the lead screws, all that kind of thing. So um, yeah, it's still running 1.75 mil ABS wire. And uh, yeah, I unfortunately haven't made a spool yet. It's just sitting on the ground yet. But um, yeah, these are some of the parts I've made so far. I'm making a, making a robot. A uh, Fobo, if you want to look it up, I'll probably provide a link. Uh, that's just the feet for it, and some of the servo frame, and the head, that kind of thing. It's just a biped robot, a bit of fun. But um, yeah, that's about it. It's got uh, amazing the accuracy of these things running in plastic. But, um, I'm also running Mark 3 CNC. Once I've figured out all the settings, it works absolutely brilliant. Another note with the heated print bed is uh, I ran control circuit here, just a standard 12 volt thermofan controller from JCAR. It could not handle the current, as you can see it burnt out the tracks underneath, so I connected it directly underneath the relay. But I found you don't actually need to run a temperature controller. With this thing directly connected to 12 volt, on the power supply, it cranks it only cranks to about 90, 95 degrees centigrade, whereas um, the ideal temperature is 110, according to the, uh, the guy who made these boards. So uh, yeah, 90 degrees seems to work perfectly fine, and unless I've got a uh, more beefy power supply, it wouldn't matter anyway. So yeah, just connect it directly to 12 volts. No need for a no need for a controller board. As you can see from uh, the, the border, I'm running a uh, slicer, which seems to work really well. You still get the odd run for some reason, but it still works absolutely fantastic. I'm very happy with it. Another little mod I did is, I don't know if you can see up inside the print head, uh, I've got a little a bent piece, of, just a bit of bent piece of copper with a hole in it. It just goes over the top of where the uh, the ABS feeds down into the tube. So I found the tube sometimes uh, on the, when it slicer when it reverses the uh, filament, it pulls up the tube a little bit. So I've just put that there to stop it uh, continually pulling up into the feed roller. Because I also knurled the feed roller as well. I don't think you can see it here, but. Another mod I've got to do is to fit a little fan on the print head as well because uh, 
the step it gets rather hot and the plastic's starting to go brown and warp as you can see as well. I had to make the aluminium tray because the original print bed was uh, warping like crazy. Um, and yeah, it wasn't helping accuracy at all. But now that I've got the aluminium one, accuracy is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, here's the original uh, print bed. As you can see, it's uh, warped like crazy. Worked brilliant before the heat bed, but yeah, it just couldn't handle the heat, which is fair enough. It wasn't designed to, make, it wasn't designed to handle heat. Just want to make give you an example of a before and after as well. Uh, this is a before print, this is just a servo bracket, as you can see there's lots of, I don't know what you call it, swarf or runs or whatever you know, your technical term is, but uh, that can't really be helped, And uh, but just after a bit of trimming with the Stanley knife, this is what it comes out like, absolutely beautiful. It's all swarf or whatever you want to call it, all the crap is on the outside of the bits you actually want, so just trim it off, it comes out absolutely beautiful. I've heard of people uh, using acetone to further enhance the look as well, but I'm not going to bother, well maybe not for this build anyway, so as you can see it's pretty straight, it's beautiful.